All right, folks, I finally watched Cruella. Let's talk about it. All right, folks, perhaps I should address the elephant in the room. Uh, His name is Dumbo. That was a bad joke. Uh, Of course, I am in a new location. I am away uh, from my home for a while, so no green screen, but... I still gotta bring reviews to the people. So for you, keeping it casual, I'm in a chair in Atlanta, Georgia currently, uh, and uh, I saw Cruella in Atlanta, Georgia. Let's do it. Folks, really my main problem with this film is just how basic and derivative it is, Uh, especially in the beginning. I feel like uh, the minute you turn on the film, you'll realize uh, just how basic it is. Uh, You know, you got the narration, here's how I died, yada, yada, yada. Uh, and the orphan backstory and whatnot, and then the film really follows. I don't, of course, uh, uh, see it for yourself if you haven't, but it does follow a very typical storyline that you, it's familiar. You've seen it before, uh, and the only question is, I like to, I like to say, do it first or do it better. Corella certainly didn't do it first. Did it do it better? Stay tuned, folks. The acting in Corella really cannot be, cannot be criticized in my opinion. Uh, because I think it is excellent, specifically from the Emmas. People have mentioned it, mentioned it, excuse me, Emma Thompson, and of course Emma Stone, the always brilliant Emma Stone, uh, who is very good at doing overacting, but only slightly, not to a point where it's obnoxious. Uh, she's very good at that one particular thing, and it fits a, a character as, you know, as accentuous uh, as Cruella. It finally works here. Uh, and Emma Thompson, of course, sort of similar role as to what she always does. Uh, but definitely as well, you know, again, really more accentuated as really is everything in this film. It's very stylistic, uh, but pretty much everyone is great. There's some overacting and minor characters. I'm looking at you, uh, the fashion shopkeeper, the first guy. He's a little over the top. He's still good, uh, but really great acting from pretty much everyone involved. Folks, there are some funny jokes in here, which uh, I feel like it would be sort of a shame if there weren't uh, because, you know, it's trying to be a pretty mainstream uh, family movie. Uh, but, you know, some funny jokes in here, and the film is a tad long for sure. I don't think everything needed to be included in that for you to tell uh, that whole story, uh, and especially seeing as, you know, it's a story that many would argue that it doesn't even need to be made uh, and feels, you know, I wouldn't, I don't want to say it feels like a cash grab because it definitely has its own distinct, there was definitely a pitch behind this, and that probably came first, I imagine, besides just wanting to make money off of pre-existing franchises like uh, The Lion King or something like that. Uh, but it is, it's a tad long is my point. I went on a tangent. Too long. Folks, there's some, still some, uh, not still, I mean, there are some very creative uh, creative choices that I quite liked. Specifically, my, my favorite thing, probably. Uh, I recall a few times in which it, 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 felt, it felt like one shot. They tried to make it seem like one shot, but not a tracking shot like what I usually am just in love with. Uh, but it was like one frame. They would have the same characters do multiple actions that would of course be impossible in the time span that we see uh, in one frame and I recall if you've seen the film uh, the kids going up into the attic at the top that was just a great uh, filming technique and it was clever and there there were many definitely clever techniques uh, that I enjoyed if you haven't seen the film you might as well know that it might I mean besides references it has nothing to do with 101 Dalmatians the original Cruella de Vil uh, story isn't there I mean, she doesn't, you know, kill the dogs after all. Uh, but bes- again, besides uh, besides uh, fan service with, you know, three dogs, three Dalmatians, the coat, some lines about the coat, uh, her name, and De- Deville. Uh, besides that, there <laughs> really might as well be its own movie. I don't really consider it to be, uh, besides the fact that it is. Uh, it doesn't feel like a, a 101 Dalmatians movie, a Disney live action remake movie. It feels like its own entity. There's some pretty dumb stuff I've seen people uh, comment on, and it certainly is dumb, but I don't think dumb necessarily means bad. The two things, spoilers, are the dogs killing uh, her mother at the beginning, which is certainly dumb, uh, as well as the plot twist with uh, Cruella's mother being, uh, I forgot her name, Emma Thompson's character. And while both are certainly, I mean, you know, pretty, pretty... Uh, comedic inherently on the on the surface they just seem like bad ideas uh you know whatever they work in the tone of the film i didn't completely hate them uh i i don't know if i enjoyed both of them but i can certainly say that i wasn't bothered by either 
folks, some people had fun. I'm not going to discount that. You know, really, mo- you know, some films are just made for entertainment purposes. Cruella is certainly one of those. There's no commentary. Uh, so if you had fun, more power to you. I was very middle of the road. I definitely enjoyed some of it. I definitely did not enjoy a lot of it as well. Uh, yeah, I- I'm not the, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of this film. Folks, I think I'm going to give Cruella a B score. Uh, I think I enjoyed it enough to justify a positive score, and I don't think it did enough bad to justify a negative score. It was really just being so basic, uh, and you know, it's creative, it's, it's sort of fun at some parts, but it's still not very original. It is way more original than all of the other Disney live-action remakes thus far. I, I turned off Mulan just because it was bad in its own right. I heard that was a little original, at least, uh, but like The Lion King is a never try that again. Please, please do something original, your own thing. I would like to see more films like Cruella, even if they're even if they're misfires for me. Many people liked it, so you know it was a success, at least. Uh, but I, I appreciate, I commend everyone. Uh, not my favorite. A B, I think, is fair. All right, folks. Sorry the review took so long. Of course, uh, I am in Atlanta, Georgia. I did not uh, exactly have all the time in the world, but of course, Cruella review came to the ten of you watching uh, sometimes even less than 10 so if you're less than 10 shout out to you uh one more may review coming up i'll leave that to be a surprise most of you will probably have no interest you might you likely have not even heard of it but i will include it on the channel nonetheless and then a may ranking june looks pretty dry there's still some actually pretty good quality films for june but just uh uh, not that many folks. I've been eating PC reviews in my new set. There is no elephant in the room, despite what I said at the beginning of the review. You've been amazing. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>